Hello again and uh, welcome to the second uh, video demonstration of the RobotFX Fluid Expert Advisor. Uh, I remind you that the expert, this is an expert advisor design, mainly designed to trade with the trend, uh, manage a winning trade of course, and um, hedge a losing trade uh, to make sure it, uh, it will not close in last. Now, in the first video I focused uh, on explaining how the expert advisor uh, is detecting the trend. Um, in this video, I will, I will uh, try to explain how the expert advisor enters a trade, how it opens or sometimes closes a trade if instructed. So basically, let's find the entry criteria um, used by the expert advisor to spot an entry and to, to enter, uh, to open a buy or a sell trade. Well, just as the trend detector, the expert advisor uses uh, two criteria when detecting the trend. And the first of them is the non-lag moving average. Um, once again, the non-lag moving average must be done. It's an indicator and it must be downloaded and copied in the indicators folder. Um, so the expert advisor will find it there and make use of it. So it uses this non-lag moving average indicator, the red green line on the chart, and it will consider entering, let's say a buy, because now we have an uptrend. It will consider entering a buy when the non-lag moving average will change the color from red into green, from the, the down color to the up color, obviously. <clears throat> and this will happen as you can, uh, uh, you can see, this will happen here, 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 here. And apparently it will happen too many times. And this is where you could tweak this non-lag moving average and change its period. And by the way, I'm changing the, uh, you don't need to attach the indicator on the chart. You must find the, the indicator settings within the expert advisor settings, which are right here somewhere at the bottom. You can change the non-lag moving average length to a higher value, let's say 55. Let me change the indicator as well to reflect uh, what I did uh, with the expert advisor. And as you can see, the expert advisor, the indicator now, uh, it didn't change the color too often. It changed it one time here, or two times, one here, another one here, and five winning trades. Oh, one more small here somewhere, six maybe. Anyway, and uh, we don't consider the, the, the first one. Anyway, so this is how the, the, the expert advisor considers, uh, um, tries to spot an entry by using the non-line moving average indicator. And of course, when entering a cell, the opposite uh, should happen. The non-line moving average must change the color from green into red. So the expert advisor would consider a, a valid cell right here, uh, somewhere here with that mess, I think here, and then again here a long cell and one more here and that's it. And this was a, a, a downtrend. Okay, this is it about the non-lag moving average. Um, let me change it back to its default settings. Now, the second criteria which the, the, uh, used by the RobotFX Fluid Expert Advisor to spot a trade, and this will help filter, if you don't want to, to, to change the non-lag moving average settings, it will, this will also help filter this, uh, this, uh, this entries that may be fake entries. Could happen here where there's a consolidation zone and uh, could enter, uh, let's say, a, if not instructed otherwise, you could enter a trade uh, at the wrong moment, uh, sometimes too high, the, the high of the uh, peak, let's say. So for this, we are using another setting within the indicator, and this is called, where is it? The swing zone confirmation. And by the way, I forgot to say one thing, one thing about the non-lag uh, moving average indicator. The non-lag moving average indicator name within the expert advisor setting. This is the name of the file, of the indicator, the file, right? Without the um, file type X4. So make sure you don't change this, or if you did change it, make sure you change it back 
So it will reflect the name of the indicator. This is what the expert advisor will search uh, within the indicator's uh, folder. And if it will not find the indicator, it won't be able to, to spot any trade. Okay, now go back to the swing zone confirmation. This is uh, um, right here on the chart. Basically, it's a rectangle. And um, uh, to make it easier for you, actually, it is the, the rectangle. It, it, we care about, we consider the highest high and the lowest low of uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this zone, which is made of this rectangle, made of the last um, 30 candles with these settings. So the swing zone bar set to 30. That means that the expert advisor will calculate the highest high and the lowest low uh, for the latest 30 bars, 30 candles. And it will play, also place this uh, lines for just for your reference on the on the chart. Now the expert advisor will consider a trade, uh, and again in this case we are following the trend and we are buying. The expert advisor will consider a buy <coughs> only when the price is at least uh, this number of pips pips away from last swing, which is right under the swing zone bar. Uh, pips away from last swing, 30 pips with these settings. So the expert advisor will consider a buy only if the price is 30 pips away from the swing zone high. And it will be opposite for the sell. The, the price must be at least uh, pips away, 30 pips, pips away from last swing, away from the swing zone low, this low. Now, that means that for example, let me draw a small rectangle here, a 30 pips, well, more or less. Let's say this is a 30 pips uh, rectangle. That means that the expert advisor will not open any buy within this uh, yellow area, this is rectangle. That's because here the price will be too close from the swing zone high, the highest high of this, uh, this swing zone, right? And this is how we can spot, and uh, not we, the expert advisor, this is how it will filter some, uh, well, uh, some bad entries like what was about to happen here. Of course, the price can always go uh, up, and this could have been a winning trade. Uh, but the idea is trading with the trend, we don't want to open uh, this, uh, we, we don't want to buy on top, right? We want to buy when the price drops down and form this uh, uh, higher lows. So basically, we want to buy here, but we don't want to buy here. So as you can see, the non-line moving average changed the color from red into green somewhere here. However, the expert advisor ignored this trade, this signal uh, didn't open a trade, didn't open a buy, because at that point, the price was only 11 pips away, 11, 12 pips away uh, from the swing zone high, this line. So it considered it too, too close to that, which it is. Uh, it didn't trigger any trade, which is good. So in this case, we feel that it's bad trade. And this could have happened here as well. With this trade or this trade or this trade could have been filtered by this, uh, uh, the swing zone settings proper settings. And this is how the expert advisor considers uh, entering a trade. And as I said, it can also consider uh, uh, closing a trade when the uh, non-line moving average will, uh, will change the color back. So let's say if you are buying here, uh, you stay within this trade until up here, and the expert advisor will close this trade right when the color will change back. I will talk about this uh, in another video, actually, about how the expert advisor manages trades. But just so you know, if you set close trades that don't like moving average to true, then the expert advisor will open the trade here and close it as soon as the, the non like moving average will change the color, just as you can see on the picture uh, on our website on its page. In this example, where it, it, uh, it opens cells with the downtrend, Sell, open a cell and close it. Open another cell and close it. Open one more cell and close it. Sell and close it when the non lag moving average change the color, which in this uh, picture, the non lag moving average has the colors black and white for up. 
and then the trend changed and it started to buy. All right, so this is it about uh, uh, how the robot uh, affects fluid expert advisors spot the entries. Uh, if you have questions about this, uh, well, you can always use the contact page or we'll also check the frequently asked questions on the troubleshoot. And the nuclear uh, solution, contact us and we'll try to answer as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video uh, where I will try to explain about the trading uh, uh, settings. Bye-bye.